Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, as you'll probably be aware, I generally quite like different frames. I'm a bit of a frame whore. Um, this is my Avant Leggero S5, which I'm currently flying at the moment. And I really like this frame. Um, so I was just in the, in the market really for some spare parts for it, because um, I'm basically really bashing um, this frame up at the moment simply because I keep crashing all the time into trees etc um, and I went onto Avant's website and I noticed they've changed carbon suppliers and the carbon on the new Ligeros, um is basically better carbon than it was um, previously and it's now cut at a 45 degree angle which basically means it's much stronger um, and much stiffer and of course the stiffer a frame is um, the better it will fly. Um, you'll be able to raise your uh, your piece higher um, because the, the arms will be flexing less under load. Um, so as you can see this is a really good frame, I love this frame um, and it flies really well but if you look at this there is, you probably can't see it, there is a little bit of flex if you give it the full beans, it does flex. Um, so if I put this aside, this is a spare base plate for it and um, this is one of the new ones where the carbon has been cut at a 45 degree angle. Um, as usual, beautifully chamfered, um, everything is perfectly cut but what this does is make it rock strong. If I tilt it up, There is very little, if any, flex in that at all. That is about a stiffer frame or a stiffer base plate as I've ever come across, and that includes Ormiton, etc. So, to be honest, that is probably going to be a base plate that I don't destroy, regardless of how many crashes I have. What I'll probably do. Um, is put some super glue or CA glue along the uh, along the edges just to uh, to stop it from peeling if I do repeatedly hit it. But one of the ideas of it being chamfered is it takes away the sharp edge, um, so you're less likely to to peel the top away from it. But it's an absolutely lovely base plate. The major reason for this video though is as I was getting that base plate, I purchased this which is the Lajaro S4 Extreme Edition. And this one is four millimeter carbon. Um, again, with the new carbon, it's been cut to 45 degrees. So it's, um, it's really strong again. And even though this one's four millimeters as opposed to the three and a half mil that he sells on his, his website, this one is actually lighter than the standard frame. Um, and the reason it's lighter is because he's using better carbon and thicker carbon he's actually been able to shave a little bit off the thickness of the arms um, and around the sides which has basically shed, shed some weight. I weighed this earlier and the frame as it is with all the screws etc is 44 grams which is incredibly incredibly light um, which is exactly what you want on a super light. At the moment one of the quads I'm flying is an Armaton um, productions Space Cowboy XLR4 Superlight and to put this into context this frame weighs 44 grams my other Superlight weighs 54 grams which is a hell of a difference on something this small and as you can see again this frame is rock hard it really doesn't get any better than that so this is going to absolutely scream 44 grams so basically I, if I transferred the same components into off my uh, Armaton Productions onto this I've shed 5% of the weight pretty much straight away which is a huge huge amount um, and I'll feel that in terms of performance um, so big shout out to Eddie Avant. Um, obviously I've bought these, it's not, I'm not sponsored or anything by them, um, I just like the frames. For me, Avant 
do exactly what I want from a frame. I want a simple base plate on the bottom. I, I don't like frames with replaceable arms. Um, simple because when you actually need to get one, nine times out of ten you can no longer get the arms. Um, and you just end up with too many screws, it really bugs me. <coughs> I'd simply rather get a frame like this, um, buy a spare base plate um, and just run it. Um, and the way quads are advancing, in, you know, by the time I wreck this, there'll be something even cooler about, um, which I'll no doubt want to get as well. Um, so, as I said, it's as strong a frame as you're likely to get. Um, and just for comparison, this is the base plate from a real ACC X210, which is a really popular frame. Um, ignoring the fact that it looks like, it, like it's been cut by a hacksaw, if you flex this one, just to show you, it flexes really, really easy. Try and get it into the camera, there you go. Can you see that arm there? Absolutely made out of butter. Um, you know, and this is a cheap frame, that's not, not a huge problem. What, what it means is it'll break easily, but more importantly, when you give it full beans, you're probably like, more likely to get vibration, etc., in your quadcopter because the arms are flapping around. Um, so, this is an absolutely awesome little frame. Um, I think these retail for probably about 50 quid, 45, 50 quid which is a really good price um, there's nothing really on the market as good as this um, it's only real competitor is the catalyst machine works frames um, to which this is really similar in fairness but they aren't as strong as this and they're a lot 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 more money um, so i'm glad about or um, i suppose improving their products which is what you want really um, in all my dealings with them, Eddie at Avant is, uh, is a really nice guy and he's really helpful. Um, I had a little chat with him the other day um, following receiving this just to say how much I was impressed by, um, by the stiffness of this carbon. And he let me know that um, in the not too distant future he's got a f three inch frame coming out um, which will hold a Runcam Micro. Um, 20 millimeter uh, flight controller uh, flight controller stack in fact if you look at this one you can actually use um, a 20 by 20 one of those new micro um, flight controllers or flight controllers with built-in um, four in one ESCs so it's already set up but it's got, as I said it's got a new three inch frame coming out um, which sounds like it's gonna the, the frame itself will weigh about 24 grams and he's looking at probably an all-up weight of maybe 130 or 140 grams so that'll be really one to um, to look out for as well um, especially if it's running 14 or 7 mortars which is what you would be putting on uh, on this one um, so I hope that, that was useful um, stunning frame tons of room for everything in there the only thing I would say is because it's so thin when you run your mortar wires you're just going to have to sort of stack them and send them around the front arms there it's not a problem just something to be aware of when you're um, connecting it up um, with this particular frame you're probably better running a four in one esc um, you will get a single esc on this arm but it'll have to be a really small one um, the emax bullets fit perfectly but given my recent experience with them I'd avoid the Emax Bullet ESCs at all costs. They are absolutely shocking. Um, every time I have the slightest of bumps, um, I lose an ESC, so I've swapped mine on this. And all these have been swapped to the Speedix um, 20, 25 amp ESCs, and since I did that, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, so just keep an eye out. There, there are other small ESCs on the market but with this it's probably just easier to run um, a 4-in-1 and given the amount of room you've got there if you run a 4-in-1 um, and possibly a DIY SF4 or something like that you'd probably still have room for the run cam split when it comes out which for me um, and my level of flying is going to completely change things because the one thing I hate 
about these super lights um, super light four inch frames as you you can but they're not really designed to run uh, a GoPro or a Runcam 3 action camera um, and the Runcam split when it comes out will fit nicely in here and allow you to get HD footage um, when you're flying around from the normal um, camera which is you know for me wiping out the big downside of, um, of these smaller frames so as I said check this out this is the Legero S4 um, Superlight Extreme version um, Avant Quad so I'll put the link in um, in the description um, but it's a really really good frame um, everything's perfectly cut uh, beautifully designed carbon is now 45 degrees um, and it's as stiff as anything I've ever come across in fact probably the stiffest frame I've ever seen to be honest with you um, hope that was useful any questions let me know um, as I said I I don't have any I'm not sponsored by Avant or anything like that it's simply I like these frames I've, I've had maybe five or six different Avant frames I've had a Nex X5, Nex X3, Legero etc and I've liked them all um, I particularly like the blue um, carbon they do do a red edition as well but I've always gone for the um, for the blue one um, <coughs> as you can see on here ignore that that's just um, silicon that I've put on when I run my um, action camera on top but you know this is a Legero S5 and as you can see really really low profile frame um, beautiful frame so check them out thanks a lot guys cheers bye bye